muscular tissue the first one is skeletal muscle skeletal muscle are long cylindrical fibers wherein the nuclei are elongated and peripheral the muscle fiber is made up of a cell membrane called the sarcolemma with the cytoplasm it is called as sarcoplasm inside the muscle fiber are the myofibrils the myofibrils are arranged in groups called as the fields of conines the skeletal muscle fibers have transverse striations the i band are the light bands which are isotropic and the a band are the dark band which are an isotropic the entire muscle is covered by the epimysium each fasciculi is covered by the perimysium fasciculi are bundles of muscle fibers each muscle fiber is covered by the endomysium each myofibril is separated from one another by a network called the sarcoplasmic reticulum the distance between two consecutive z bands is called as the sarcomere so this is the perimysium the epimysium the muscle fascicles the sarcolemma this is the sarcomere the m band the z line myosin and the actin filaments cross striation in myofibril is due to myofilaments called as actin and myosin the actin are thin and the myosin are thick during contraction the length of the sarcomere shortens by the presence of atp leading to sliding of actin between the myosin filaments other proteins in the skeletal muscle are actinin myomesin titin and desmin types of skeletal muscle fibers we have the red muscle fiber and the white muscle fiber the red muscle fiber is rich in myoglobin hence they are red the white muscle fiber have less myoglobin hence they are white red muscle fibers are narrow white muscle fibers are broad the contraction in the red muscle fiber is slow these are the slow twitch fibers which are also called as the type 1 fibers the contraction in the white muscle fiber is fast these are the fast twitch fibers also called as the type 2 fibers red muscle fibers have rich blood supply white muscle fibers have poor blood supply red muscle fibers have many mitochondria whereas white muscle fibers have less mitochondria red muscle fibers have less extensive sarcoplasmic reticulum whereas the white muscle fibers have more extensive sarcoplasmic reticulum then we have the cardiac muscle the cardiac muscle comprises of elongated fibers which contains the actin and myosin these are branched the nucleus is located at the center they have large mitochondria and abundant cytoplasm these muscles contain intercalated discs which are step like and they run transversely across the muscle fiber then we have the smooth muscle the smooth muscle are long spindle shaped cells with tapering ends they have elongated nuclei the contraction is seen due to sliding of the actin and the myosin during phosphorylation and this requires very little atp summary of the skeletal cardiac and the smooth muscles the muscle fibers in skeletal are long cylindrical and unbranched in cardiac they are short and branched and in smooth they are spindle shaped or fusiform and branched in skeletal muscle the control is voluntary in cardiac it is involuntary and smooth muscle it is voluntary the skeletal muscles have striations cardiac muscle have less striations and the smooth muscle have no striations 
Skeletal muscles have multinucleated flat nucleus. Cardiac muscles have single nucleus and the smooth muscles have a single nucleus. Skeletal muscles do not have intercalated disc. Cardiac muscles have intercalated disc. Smooth muscles do not have intercalated disc. Skeletal muscles have less regeneration capacity. Cardiac muscles do not regenerate. Smooth muscles regenerate after an injury. The skeletal muscles are supplied by somatic nerves. Cardiac muscles by the autonomic nerves and the smooth muscles by the autonomic nerves. Skeletal muscles have sarcoplasmic reticulum. Cardiac muscles have sarcoplasmic reticulum. Smooth muscles do not have sarcoplasmic reticulum. Lastly, let's see the location. Skeletal muscles are located in the skeleton, the diaphragm and the tongue. Cardiac muscles are located in the heart and the pulmonary veins. Whereas smooth muscles are located in the viscera and the urinary bladder.